BB tag coming out of left field and uh, giving us a everything we wanted, everything we've ever wanted, almost everything we've ever wanted. So before this happened, let's let me just give some context. There was a leak list apparently that came out a few days before the Sunday finals. And people got wind of it. And people have been sharing it on Twitter. And I'm trying my best to stay away from Twitter. I, I knew of the list. I decided not to look at it. I had some amigos. They're actually in the chat. Lushi. He was there. Like, I said, I didn't want to know it. And so they did. They, they, he was like, all right, get over there. So you don't have to know. You need max CPM for this. So you got to go over there. I'm like, okay, I'll make it as authentic as possible. I'll go over there. And then they discussed it and such. Anyways, there was a leak list. Uh, I'm pretty sure that leak list was actually true. It was, it was like, re it was like legit. So, come day of the tournament, the tournament is gonna start. It was 9 a.m. tournament, and I didn't buy any Sunday finals tickets. I didn't buy those. So I, I went to go. They were selling them on site, and I went to go buy them. And uh, while I was in line or while I was getting up, apparently the entire trailer was leaked, like Street Fighter V style. The entire thing was was leaked. So that trailer we saw, it was completely leaked. Anyways, um, for the most part, when I went to go buy the tickets, I got stopped by two people. Two people. They said, "Hey, are you cool vision?" You know, they, the, the the whole thing with. They recognized me and they recognized the channel and they wanted to say what's up and they want to say hi, which I really appreciate. But they told me, they told me the trailer was leaked. Do not go on Twitter. Do not go on social media. Do not go anywhere. Just don't go on social media at all. Don't go on the internet. And I said, okay, sounds good. And uh, I went to the Discord too and the Discord was saying the exact same thing. The Discord was just get off, get out. Run! Don't don't get over here. And uh, I was oh, like shocked. My goodness. Runato! Oh my god! God damn! So he donated five dollars and he showed me this picture. God damn, dude! Damn! So I guess and I'm through my mind. I was basically thinking, oh my god, people! <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you gifting a sub to Phoenix, Blue Brenu, Mini Wheats, and Ristos and Swiss. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna turn that off for now, but thank you, dude. Anyways, uh, a lot of people were saying that to me. So in my mind, I'm thinking, this must be amazing. Oh my God, Altria! Oh my goodness! Altria gifted us uh, 10 bucks. Is nothing sacred anymore in regards to leaks, he says. Thank you so much. Wait a minute, those are all tier threes? Oh! Yeah, uh, I'm, I was incredibly grateful to, to have an audience or a community that will look out for me when it comes to leaks apparently my reactions are so wholesome and people like them so much that people are willing to come up to me and say don't go on twitter and get spoiled don't do it i was shocked very much shocked i can't i can't even like think like oh my gosh <laughs> um so yeah, that was that was ridiculous. Thank you to whoever did that. I don't know if they watched the channel, if they watched the stream, but thank you to those of you who told me about it and didn't get me let me get spoiled. Okay, that happened. I bought my ticket. There were only like four left, and I got in. Friggin' dope. I got in. Um, I watched it with Slick Slick Tactics, um, which is part of the Ignite Nation, and he is super sick. I, I, I love I love Slick. He watched it with me. And uh, yeah, it was pretty great. It was really, really fun to watch uh, to see Shinku Hunter. You guys know him here as the mod, but uh, he is now the world champion for BB Tag. He is just, we're going to be watching all the trailers later on. I'm just recapping right now. But Shinku won BB Tag. He's the world champion. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was freaking great. It was awesome. And then after that was the moments. The moment where Yumi from Center. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, they announced BB Tag 2.0. 
Which is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. New HUD. New system mechanics. New characters. New game modes. New scenarios. New... They're probably going to get a new character select screen. I'm so excited for a new character select screen. Because you better believe they're going to be doing it. And they better do it. Holy crap. Um, so yeah, brand new everything, man. I, I'm, I'm, ex I'm super excited to see what they're going to be doing. Um, some of the new mechanics that they're bringing in is that they're doing an offensive burst. So if you guys have played MVCI... It's similar to like the tag in and continuing the combo. So you can do a combo, burst, your second character comes flying in, they ground bounce, and you continue the combo as the second character. It's like the tag. It's so sick. It's so sick. It's like CVO from Undernight. It's like Spark from Dragon Ball. It's like um, tag from MVCI. All that stuff. That's in the game now. And they're reworking the Assault Crash which is the 5C. And they're probably doing more things with cross combo and with push block, all that stuff. The new mechanics are gonna be awesome and I, that's what I wanted. That's what I want. I want that. And then after that was the characters. And oh, Yumi was the first character they showed off and I was so happy. I knew it was kind of coming because of, of course, Yumi ever since last year, the, the voice leaks for Yumi or the character select screen. They were there. Asuka and Yumi. So Yumi came out. She's the representative for Zenra Kagura. Or the first one, maybe. And uh, she looks amazing. When we can take a look at the trailer a little later on. Um, I'm so happy that my Zenra Kagura girl got in. Um, that's dope. After that, it was Akatsuki. And I'm really happy that Akatsuki got in. Because I like that character a lot. And have all characters from Undernight. And it's not even an Undernight character. It's an Akatsuki Blitzkampf character. <laughs> they can't do it as a Undernight character. I, I, I guess. So. I'm counting it kind of as an Undernight character. But yeah, it's Akatsuki. Akatsuki is coming back. And um, Bitatsu is going to come back. Everything is going to come back. And then they got Blitztank. And oh my gosh, Blitz Tank. I, uh. Alright, alright, listen. Blitz Tank. So, I can appreciate the memes. I can appreciate the jokes. I can appreciate all that stuff, alright? But. If you really think about it. This is probably like one of the stupidest decisions they have ever made. I can appreciate the memes, the jokes, whatever. I, I, I like a good laugh too. When you really think about it, this character is not gonna be good. It's not, I mean, it's not gonna be, he's probably gonna be stupid good, but this character is probably like, it's not gonna ruin BB tag, but it definitely leaves a very distasteful, like, like thing in my mouth. You know what I mean? It's like, mm. This character doesn't have to exist. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to deal with it. You know what? Screw it. I don't have to deal with it. I'm pulling a smash. Let's go, boys. I'm I'm starting a change.org petition for banning the tank. Sign here a thousand signatures will ban him. <laughs> God damn it, Smash community. And then there came the big reveal. The ginormous reveal. The one that caught me off guard out of left field. The greatest reveal in BB Tag history. Neo. Neo being in BB Tag is the greatest, like, like, my mind was blown. Like, I can't even I can't even tell you guys how much my mind was just blown. Because out of every character they could have they could have brought in. They could have brought in Roman. They could have brought in Mercury. I'm um, not Mercury, I'm sorry, em, uh, Emerald. They could have brought in uh, Cinder. They could have brought in Crow. Anybody else. But they brought in 
Neo. And from the very beginning, you guys were here. You guys have been here for a while, okay? You guys have been here for a while. I told you guys two things. Number one, please put Neo in the in the game because she'd be the easiest character to create because she doesn't have a voice actress. You don't have to actually hire a voice actress for her because she's mute. It's easy. It makes sense. Number two, I said, there's no way they're putting in Neo before Pyrrha, before Nora, before Ren, before Roman, before Cinder. That's what I said. I said this. I'm like, oh, Adam, there's no way they're putting in Neo before them. No way. <clears throat> no way in hell. And then they put in Neo. <laughs> What am I like possibly like right next to Weiss like Neo is up there for the mm, my favorite freaking character from Ruby because she doesn't say anything. She just she just does. She just acts. You know how people talk the talk. She's all walk. She's a, a woman of action and I love her for that. And she's badass. I'm so happy. Like I really am that they put in Neo. The one character, and at least she looks badass, man. She looks at, she doesn't say anything. She just does things. She just acts, woman of action. <sighs> it's so great. I can't, I'm so, I was so, I was shocked, mind blown. That, I think Neo alone was the reason why people were coming up to me and saying, do not watch the trailer. Stay off social media. If Neo was not there, I'm pretty sure people would not have cared. And they're like, oh, it's Yumi. It's Akaski, all that stuff. But because Neo was there, people actually gave a crap about my reaction. And I really appreciate those guys that, uh, that did that. And you guys, that was fantastic.